Children of the Arctic is screening today at the Santa Barbara Museum of Arts and Friday at 2 p.m. at the Metro Theater 4. The director is joining us live and Sharin is with them. But first, here's a look at the trailer. All right, welcome everybody. Children of the Arctic, that's right, it's airing today at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. The director, Nick Brandestini, joining me this morning. Nice to see you, Nick. You're from Switzerland. Welcome. Thank you very much. This I'm uh, excited to be here. You're returning, actually. You've actually been featured at the film festival before. What's your impression of Santa Barbara? Yes, I mean, uh, I've <laughs> been here before. I, I love it here. It's such a wonderful place. Yeah. And I have good memories because I was here with my previous and first documentary uh, ah. called Darwin, which has some similarities to this project that is playing uh, today. Okay. Actually, which is also about a isolated and... Um, for me as a Swiss, a uh, very fascinating community. Yeah, absolutely. And so. this documentary actually is following these five native Alaskan teenagers and their culture there, because it's so different from what we see in those images that we saw in that trailer. I can imagine the filming of this was a little difficult, but let's talk about the, just the synopsis of the, the documentary. Why, what inspired you to follow these teenagers in the first place? Um, like I said, I was fascinated by, by uh, communities in general, and then what happened, it's actually a simple story, what happened was my uh, previous film played in a film festival in northern Canada, which is quite similar to what, is what you can see in Children of the Arctic, mm -hmm. and I was just blown away by the ex exoticness and the, the landscape and the, the different culture and the way of life yeah. that I really wanted to learn more and, and, and explore and find out uh, and of course there's still a lot of traditional activities going on like uh, whaling right. and living off the land and all these um, these activities that I just wanted to know more and so this is how it started. Yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated too just seeing these images there. Uh, what were some of the challenges though because these are pretty icy cold conditions as you're kind of uh, shadowing and documenting their way of life? Mm -hmm. I mean one of the most obvious challenge was just to film because I was also the film the camera guy and uh, due to the cold it's like minus 40 degrees wow. sometimes it's just uh, you can't even uh, you have to wear I mean I they, they're more used to it of yeah. course there they just walk around in shorts yeah. sometimes even but I had to wear like a mask on my face and the camera is hard to operate because the battery would go, would go empty really quickly and uh, yeah. the, the other thing like you mentioned um, or that I mentioned before, the whaling. Yeah. It's for them. It's a touchy subject because they because had bad not experience. Because commercial whaling there. They actually yes. hunt the whales. They do hunt the whales, but it's for their own consumption, mm. and they use every part of the whale. And they've been doing this for uh, you know thousands of years. And up there, as you can imagine, there's no green. There's no trees. The landscape is completely flat. So that's for a long time. This has been the only source of food. But wow. many people from the outside don't recognize that and they just see, you know, they know that whales are being killed of and it's course. controversial. Very controversial. But that's so interesting to, to kind of go into someone else's space and their way of living and to kind of document it. I think that's what uh, Children of the Arctic, what, what makes it kind of very unique. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the message behind the film? What do you think is a takeaway when people kind of look at this? The me that's a good question. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, it's not meant to have a, a specific uh, message. It's just to show... Uh, give people an insight into a world that they don't know anything uh, any or probably not much yeah. about so I'm not I'm not making a political statement or anything like that and then where are the teenagers now have you kept in touch with them I have in fact and uh, for the world premiere at the Zurich Film Festival it's oh. my hometown uh, some of them attended that Aww. event and it was of course for everybody involved very very exciting oh I bet they probably hadn't seen themselves on the big screen they haven't right? seen themselves <laughs> and they after the film which they all appreciated very yeah. much they went on to stage and you know we had to do Q&A and and uh, it was a very uh, nice interaction also with the audience. Oh, that, I so bet that is. That was well, fun. This film is a documentary. It's about 90 minutes. It's going to be airing tonight and Friday, but tonight at 7 o'clock, and that is at the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. Nick, thank you so much. Congratulations on your film. Oh, thank you very much. Can't wait to see it. And thank you for waking up with us, children of the Arctic. Go check it out tonight. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.